um, that move that on me gunner. I know with uh, with um, Ness you cannot SDI. It doesn't work for PK fire, but uh, that move might be a little different. So um, it's possible you can get out of it. I think I'd have to look up the the frame data for that to be sure. So. Right. Yeah, but you're you're definitely trapped in it. So if you get hit by it uh, and your opponent has a charge shot, they, it's pretty much guaranteed. All right, moving on to the next set, we have Dino Party versus Gaio. I think that's how you pronounce it. I remember I've seen Gaio at a few UCI tournaments before, and I don't remember his main. Dark Pit feels a little new to me. I feel like he might have played a different character when I last saw him. Dark Pit versus Villager, though. I've never seen this matchup. <laughs> yeah, I think because this so many characters are viable in this game, I, uh, it it's definitely going to be a, a counter pick. Uh, as the meta develops, we're going to see a lot more counter pick style gameplay. So it's possible uh, Gaio thinks that uh, this is a better matchup or whatever his name is. Uh oh. Oh, oh, wow, that's so smart. Usually you're not able to. Like, not many people think you can edge guard Villager with his balloons, but Gaio showing that all you need is three down airs, and he's dead at 53%. Yeah, I I thought that uh, Villager gets his balloon back after you hit him, but uh, it looks like it's not the case. Just an excellent snipe coming out from Gaio. All right, punishing your grab with the dash attack. Gaio is playing very well, but I like, I like these nares out of shield coming from Dino Party. There is I, definitely uh, Villager's fastest aerial. Yeah, guy has been ap approaching a lot, so uh, Dino Party just kind of holding his ground, waiting in shield, and then coming out with Nair. That move is actually surprisingly fast. Um, and a great tool for Villager. And, and look at just Dark Pit throwing out his reflector. I think that... That sort of invalidates a lot of the uh, Dino Party zoning options. Like that Lloyd, it's so slow, Gaio can just... Oh, that's so unfortunate. He got the ground with the down smash, but missed spacing the bowling ball, unable to secure that stock. Hopefully that doesn't get to his head. But like, the Lloyd is so slow that he can just jump out of the way. But he oh. can reflect bowling ball too? The this thing just went straight up. Yeah, yeah. so... The, it's true the Lloyd is slow, but there's definitely counterplay to it. I mean, uh, Dino Party can uh, can get around the shield and then um, punish Gaio for it. So it's not perfect, but it does beat a lot of what Villager wants to do with those slingshots. Um, and uh, yeah, the Lloyd, if you run in close, you can sort of force a bad situation. Yes, but these, the multi-hits that Gaio is throwing out, it's just chipping away at Dino's party percentage and getting the slingshot reflected back at you. That That's probably the most painful 3% I've ever seen. <laughs> and taking two arrows, it's like Dino party's looking lost. I haven't even seen him plant a tree. He hasn't had the chance. Oh, he went so. for it all. Uh, you can't blame him. Oh! He didn't have to go for the bowling ball, but he probably did it for the morale. Kept himself up a little. He's yeah, down two I stocks to one. Thought he was gonna save him there, but he's at a very high percent right now. And uh, <laughs> Gaio in a bad spot right now. 38% off of the jab. Yeah, some of these jabs, if you get them on the edge, they're, they're pretty broken. I think Pikachu's is similar. Um, yeah, nice use of the reflector there. I uh, saw Dino Party was trying to land, or didn't really have a lot of pla other places to go. Uh, so he just ate that Lloyd. I also want to point out that Smart hugging the stage recovery from Dino Party. He learned from his first stock, obviously. Oh, don't get sniped off of this side. Yeah. Oh, and that is game one. That was pr the most dominating game we've seen so far. It's like... Dino Party, he's just like, what is he supposed to do? He tries to zone Gaio out, he throws out a reflector. He tries to rush in, he gets hit by uh, the aerials. Yeah, we saw Gaio sort of take a lot of damage from running in there with those nares and uh, and getting too close. But then he, he sort of brought, he, he went back, he used the reflector along, beat out 
uh, Dino Party's approaches. Um, so I'd like to see a little more patient play from Dino Party. I think, uh, oh, nice use of the bot there. Uh, I think that could definitely help him in this matchup. All right, so a lot more forward air heals coming out, I feel. Dino Party does have the lead, but I feel like once Gaio gets the first hit, he takes it as far as he can, just like that. 41% in just a few seconds. Even if it's not a true combo, he's just able to read Dino Party's options and continue the sequence. All right, this is the first time we've seen Gaio really trapped on the ledge this set. Tries to go for it all with the bowling ball, but I just don't think that was the right option. That was too read heavy. I liked how he started out that sequence. Oh, is he gone? No, he's gonna make it back. But I feel like he shouldn't have downers in there. I, oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, it, it was it was greedy to be sure, but I think Gaio just wants to end this set. Okay. Right. Porter going through the Lloyd, down air, stage fight. We do not tech those. Yeah, uh, that move is kind of tricky with the hitboxes. You're not, never really sure where it's going to send you. It does have a spike hitboxes, uh, hitbox as we saw earlier. Um, but there, getting the uh, the forward hitting hitbox and sending him in the stage. And uh, the item party was just wasn't expecting to tech or to have to tech. Okay. <laughs> he won't let him get away with that twice. Yeah. I definitely felt that was unsafe. So I, I appreciate I appreciate Gaio's idea. Now. Yeah, yeah, he fancies himself a lumberjack, I guess. Yeah, just sometimes you just need a punch or treat, you know, like Steve Minecraft, DLC five. <laughs> okay, let's back to the match. Um, Gaio forces his way in with a dash attack. Dino, or I mean Gaio, Dino Gaio. All right, Dino Party keeps Gyro trapped in ledge again, but he just throws out a down air and he Dark Pit's back. Yeah, okay. We're definitely seeing a lot of a closer game. This uh, this hanging back that Dino Party's doing is helping him out, but uh, Gyro still in a good spot here. Yeah, he good had recovery to recovery coming out from Dino Party there. He had to drift back as far as he could, otherwise he was eating a forward air to the face. Down smash, DI's to the corner, so he's still living. I think Dino Party needs to be getting a little more off of these edge guards. He's sending him, or these ledge trapping and edge guards, he's sending him back off stage, but he's only getting about 30 to 40% of that. And uh, Gaio's just shown that his neutral uh, and his combo game are so much stronger than what Dino Party has. Yeah, it looks like he's he nice has a tech. great start with these ledge guarding sequences, but then he just goes for something. He goes for a bold read or something of the sort, and it doesn't pay out in the end. Okay, yeah, he so he he, he uh, went for the punish there for the shield with this with the, this back air, but got reflected. Um, yeah, it, it uh, yeah, it beats out the opening hitbox too. So maybe. Uh, Dino Party learning about this matchup on the fly right now. But he doesn't have much more time here. Yeah, 96% on his last stock. This is looking like a wrap. All, all Gao needs is one forward smash, down smash, dash attack at the ledge possibly with the rage. He, he just needs to keep on playing well. Oh, great use of the down air too. Otherwise the forward air would have killed all right, here's another great ledge trap, and then he just goes for forward smash, and okay. that just sort of ruins the whole sequence. <laughs> forward tilt, still not gonna kill. Okay, this is a solid edge guard from Dino Party, but I was, as I was gonna say, he needs to get the kill there, and he did. Smart awareness, knowing he was going to re-grab the ledge, so that was just easy punish with a down air. That was actually a super risky forward air off. Uh, off stage there. If uh, Gaia went for the the reflector, he would have been put in a very bad spot, or Dino Party would have been, I should say. All right, Gaia throwing out a few nares. Last one lands for him. Dash attack, sending Gaia into the air. Dino Party has a chance to take this to game three, perhaps. Yeah, I like this. He's playing super evasively. He's giving Ga Gaia a headache here. But all Gaia needs is one hit. Oh. 
Electroshock nearly connecting. That one Donald will. Marty has a second chance at life. How is he going to use it? Okay, gets well, the Nair, and now Dino again. Party is off stage. We've seen Gaio do a great job of capitalizing here. What's he gonna do? Oh, spot dodge. Oh, okay, hit the up smash, just missing there. This is a close game, guys. Gaio oh, really forward throw, yep. To find the kill, as I say that, forward throw at the ledge, that will be a kill, and that will be a 2-0 for Gaio. Yeah, that's, that's fair.